President Donald Trump promised Tuesday to guarantee the safety of North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un in the event that talks between the two heads of state are fruitful, suggesting that a Kim open to negotiating with America will be safe, he will be happy, his country will be rich, his country will be hardworking and prosperous. Trump and Kim are currently scheduled to meet in Singapore on June 12 to discuss the denuclearization of the North Korean peninsula. While the term means an end to North Korea's nuclear program for the United States, many experts suggest North Korea is seeking the removal of American military assets from Asia. During a press conference with leftist South Korean President Moon Jae-in in Washington on Tuesday, Trump suggested that the scheduled June 12 summit with Kim may not work out. He expressed hope, however, that it will. North Koreans, according to defectors who have told their stories, are taught from a very young age to worship the Kim family and particularly Kim Il-sung, the father of the Korean nation. North Korean children are taught that Kim Il-sung descended from heaven in 1912, Judge Year One, and that his son, Kim Jong-il was born on the peak of sacred Mount Baktu and greeted with the presence of a star that illuminated the sky, echoing the story of Christmas. North Korea bans all outside media, including television, film, and written materials and forces every citizen to watch only government-produced programming and read government-produced material promoting the worship of the Kim family. Trump has not challenged this claim, nor have any representatives of the United States government before Kim or the North Korean regime publicly brought up its ongoing human rights abuses as a condition to dialogue with the United States.